Let's start things off at the Constitutional Court of Korea. The arguments from both sides in the impeachment trial against President, the President of South Korea, are heard, although Park was not in attendance, and the Constitutional Court noted it could not force her to appear. Key witnesses were summoned to testify at the hearing. Kim ji has our top story. During the second hearing in President Abakane's impeachment trial at the Constitutional Court on Thursday, the National Assembly's legal team questioned Yoon Jun Chu, an official at the presidential office of Chongade, in order to dig deeper into her role and tasks at the top office. Yoon testified that she was in charge of President Abak's personal affairs from time to time, sometimes picking up the president's clothes from designers and cleaners. She also said that she was not fond of President Park's longtime confidant, Choi Soon Shil, and denied acting as her personal secretary. Yoon is considered a key witness in clarifying the president's whereabouts on the day of the Seoul ferry disaster in 2014 that killed more than 300 people, mostly high school students. When asked about her recollection on that day, Yoon said she saw former presidential secretary Am bong and two of the staff in charge of the president's hair and makeup entering the president's residence. The legal team said the president had failed to fulfill her duties as head of state and violated the sovereignty of the people by giving Che access to state documents and by colluding with Che to pressure private businesses to make donations to two government-linked foundations. The team also said the president infringed on the freedom of the press by reprimanding local media outlets that reported on Che and her inner circle. The team added the president neglected her duty to protect citizens' lives by failing to use the resources at her disposal to save lives during the Seroho Ferry disaster. The president's lawyers refuted all the charges brought by the National Assembly team. The legal team also denied the allegation that the president pressed the National Pension Service to support a merger between Samsung CNT and Tail Industries. They said that that would have been impossible because the merger took place eight days before President Buck's one-on-one -on -one meeting with Samsung Electronics Vice President Lee dae in July of 2015. The lawyers also said President Buck did not know that Che was involved with funneling money through nonprofit organizations, including the media and K Sports Foundations. Court appearances have been rescheduled to two weeks from now for other witnesses, including former presidential secretaries Lee Dae-man and Am bong The hearing for Lee young sun an another official at the presidential office of Chongade, is slated for next Thursday. Kim Ji-yeon, Arirang News.